the first five minutes I was in that room, I knew that the Newport Historical Society had hit a winner. I just think Ruth has just been a great force for us. She has certainly put us on the map in Newport. She has made us financially stable. She has put us out front in the community. There is no job that goes undone without Ruth. I can call her, I can text her, I can email her at any time of day. And she is always there to answer. And I just think I knew having spent 30 years in Newport before I met Ruth, I had known nothing about the NHS. And she literally has made it be a very big part of my heart now. And she has done that not just for me, but other members of the community as well. I came on uh, after a very successful capital campaign that uh, Ruth and uh, Tom Goddard led. And uh, unfortunately, the, you know, my tenure is uh, overlapping with uh, most of the COVID uh, pandemic and uh, work that we had to do to survive that. And Ruth and the staff did a tremendous job of keeping this organization not only afloat, but thriving. And we went, she went beyond uh, the, the normal, just the survival techniques uh, that many nonprofits had to do. We actually got into new areas um, and expanded areas uh, that we hadn't done before. And so I think Ruth uh, was absolutely essential to this organization thriving through the, the pandemic. Those initiatives that have been taken are still paying dividends today. Even So it, it was a pleasure to work with her during this time, which was extremely stressful and extremely worrisome and, and really not knowing what the next month would bring. And she handled it um, uh, with professionalism, with optimism, uh, and with a we can do this attitude. You've put together a great team and manage NHS uh, with an unfortunately meager budget, which we're now trying to correct, obviously, with the addition of, of new endowment. Um, not the least of which you've conducted a successful capital campaign. And I really, you know, you were the one who really conducted the campaign, the building renovation, uh, the increased membership that came as a result of all of this and the endowment uh, helped obviously in reconfiguring the headquarters uh, for programmatic use and uh, leaving NHS outsiders wondering uh, how you did it all. You are indeed a superwoman. Foundation. I've known Ruth for a handful of years. I won't say we're old friends because neither of us is old. Yeah. Ruth stands out in my career as a public historian as one of the most essential, knowledgeable, skilled and opinionated people that I know. And by opinionated, I mean that she brings a lifelong set of skills and experiences so that those opinions actually have validity. And Ruth knows this, that I would always call Ruth up if I had a big question that really needed a kind of philosophical, conceptual discussion. She always helped me. It's been a wonderful and strange uh, outing with you. We will certainly miss you. I think that at the beginning, you were serious and bookish and somewhat inward looking. And by the end, you were an extrovert and a marketing whiz. The accomplishments you've had at the Historical Society include putting this organization on a sound financial footing, a total rebranding of the organization, and an unbelievable communication protocol, along with fantastic exhibits and events. You will be a hard act to follow, and we will miss you. Thank you for everything you've done. Ruth 
really encouraged us to, or me to take risks in that position. We did a lot of really interesting new original merchandise. And um, during my time working with Ruth of the Historical Society, we really, I think, pushed the envelope on the amount of custom products and original merchandise. And I also think that um, during the years I was there at the Brick Market, I saw such an expansion in the walking tour program. I saw an expansion in the groups of people coming through the museum. We conducted a lot of different surveys. Ruth really led the Brick Market to being a real central hub in the downtown, not only for the museum, but also for shopping for both locals and tourists alike. From the minute I walked through the door and sat down at the table, Ruth just got it. To having never had anything to do with an antique show, she understood our vision and she was able to make our vision work. And literally, as successful as that show has been, not just to the Boys and Girls Club and the Newport Historical Society, but it's been a very important part of Newport. It never would have happened without Ruth because when I say to her, we need this, or we need to go this way, or what do you think about this? She is the first one on board and she will do whatever it takes to get the job done and to get the job done effectively. I can't say enough that that Newport, you know, everyone goes, oh, Anne, it's such a great show. That show is as much a part of Ruth Taylor as it is a part of me. When the opportunity arose to host a much larger antique show due to the genius and incredible expertise of Ann Hamilton, I thought the NHS should take it on and lobbied hard for us to do so. It was a huge undertaking, not without risk, but Ruth, being Ruth, agreed to take it on in spite of being brand new in her position as executive director and having a tiny staff with no real successful model for such an event in Newport. So along with the Boys and Girls Club in 2007, the Newport Antique Show was born. Now known as the Newport Show, the event has raised over $2.5 million for both organizations and as a staple of the summer season in Newport. Through working with Ruth and Anne, and especially the early days of the show, it was clear that Ruth was the right person to be at the helm of the NHS. Her commitment to this organization and its mission has always been steadfast. She is smart, insightful, thoughtful, and dedicated. Her leadership skills have led to the creation of an incredibly talented and loyal staff whose considerable accomplishments and outreach belie their number. My deep respect and appreciation for Ruth is heartfelt, especially with the knowledge that she is leaving the Newport Historical Society strongly positioned for its future continued success. Thank you, Ruth. Newport would help set the precedent for living history events and um, really set the standard really high. You know, massive kudos to Ruth for allowing for that to happen and for allowing it to grow. In a way, it's kind of a really big experiment that could easily go very wrong. Um, and it was quite the opposite. It's been amazing to see it grow and allow Newport Historical Society to kind of be the standard for living history of um, It's a little bit guerrilla theater. It's, it, it's a little bit immersive. Um, and it really pioneered a kind of engagement um, and involvement with volunteers as well as um, professional staff that set the stage for so much, uh, both in that organization and uh, across um, public history. It certainly changed how a cadre of us who used to call ourselves you know, living historians or reenactors, we now do public history. We're public historians. We, we um, bring those ideas to other places and to our um, interpretive work well, in, in what is for many of us a, a hobby as well as a passion. And, and that's due to uh, what what Ruth enabled. 
-hmm. obviously your contributions to keeping the scholarship end uh, of the NHS uh, alive and, and running very effectively has been obviously really important to its development. It's been so important to my development as a scholar as well, but also, um, you know, making the NHS a much more transparent and public facing institution, an institution that is um, eager to and ready to grapple with uh, the city's very complicated past with respect to things like African American history and slavery. Um, I think all those things combined uh, suggest that uh, you've done a really good job with the NHS uh, under your leadership. I think the two things that I remember noticing about you the very first time I met you many years ago was your forthrightness and your bravery. And uh, those have both carried you very well, I think, in your career. Your forthrightness is, uh, I think, the ability to uh, cut to the chase. You really see the essence of a problem, uh, what needs doing, and you get the job done. I've seen that, and uh, I think that that's an, an, an enormous productive and um, wonderful tool that you've used uh, throughout time. Uh, uh, bravery is something that I, I believe has also carried you uh, through your career very well, and that is your bravery and your commitment to equity and justice. Uh, museums are not neutral, and you've really done, I think, a terrific job in helping raise the levels of awareness of folks in the field to understand their place in the world and the uh, amount of good that we can be doing as a field to make the world a better place. And I think that that's been really, I think, a legacy that you're going to be able to be proud of for many years to come. Yeah, you've been honored with our NEMA Excellence Award a few years ago, so I'm very glad that we were able to recognize you with your peers uh, in that manner. You've been a mentor to folks. You've been a great colleague. You've been a thought leader in our field and a provocateur. And those are all Ruth is a very inspiring woman, and she's very dedicated to the Newport Historical Society. The most important thing that she's ever done is taking another look at Newport history through the publications, the Newport history publications, and in those publications, with her writers, Ruth has been able to reach out to just uh, maybe about everybody in Newport and Newport County and to embrace everybody, all people of color, all sexes, um, all, all races. I sit here today to congratulate my friend on her retirement and uh, knowing that for the last 11 and a half years, I could not have had a better thought partner, a better partner period, um, a better friend than Ruth. She makes me laugh. She makes me think her brilliance in terms of not just the intellectual side of what we do, but the business side of what we do. She has been a stalwart companion and a leader in this field. And I am so grateful for the work I have gotten to do with her and to watch the way that she has shaped and changed the narrative of Rhode Island's history, of Newport history, taking it to all the corners of this country and beyond. To say how great it has been for the Museum of the American Revolution to partner with you and with the Historical Society for so many years, going back to before the time when we even had a museum here in Philadelphia, when we were just trying to get the word out. Uh, it has been great to get to know you, to get to know your fantastic team, and for us to actually come up to Newport repeatedly, most recently just this past summer, to bring our replica of George Washington's Revolutionary War tent up to set up on uh, the historic grounds there in Newport. And we just think the world of the Newport Historical Society, we think the world of you, Ruth. Um, we are looking forward to building on the great foundation that you have built. The culinary adventure that we just had in this past summer, which was so much fun, possibly one of the most fun events I have ever done. So thank you for all you have done. And I cannot believe that anyone else could have brought the Historical Society to where it is today. Ruth, much of what we have built these past years is a direct result of your vision and your leadership. 
I have learned so much while working alongside you. Thank you for the impact you have had on my professional growth and for being my mentor and my friend. Ruth, farewell. I'm wishing you luck and success as you move on to your new exciting chapter. I'm grateful for your leadership and you've left a legacy at Newport Historical Society of inclusion, community engagement, and making Newport's historical narratives relevant in the present. I'm very proud to have worked with you on so many projects and very grateful to call you a friend. Best wishes on all endeavors moving forward. Ruth Taylor is an amazing woman and I am humbled to have had the opportunity to learn so much from her. She took the reins of the Newport Historical Society and with her vision and energy, took it to new heights by reimagining what it could be. Ruth understands the importance of connecting both to other nonprofits and individuals. This keen insight enabled her to elevate the Newport Historical Society to an organization that is respected not only in Rhode Island, but nationally. Ruth brought scholarly excellence along with innovative activities to showcase the importance of history to all of us. The Roaring Twenties Party in 2019 and the costume showcase with Otran from 2021 come to mind as some recent memorable events. Thank you, Ruth, for making us all better. Congratulations on your retirement. Thank you so much for what you did for me, for Mount Vernon, for Newport, and for Rhode Island. Uh, having gotten to be your colleague and your friend over all these years has meant so much to me. You were a counselor and a therapist to me as well as a friend, and I hope I was able to do the same for you. And gosh, what you've been able to do for the Historical Society is amazing. Having been its former director of education from 19, oh gosh, 93 to 1998, um, I, I remember it in very different times. And I know that you have just taken it to a whole new level and I've watched that happen. And I knew that if anybody could do that, it would be you. Ruth. You are a thoughtful, strategic, and practical leader, and you rallied a huge number of people around this organization and made highly visible, transformational change happen. And all of that in a city that is known for never changing. It was such an honor and so much fun to be a small part of the Challenging the Future campaign, and I am deeply proud of everything you've accomplished here. I wish you all the best as you go on and write your next chapter and I want you to know I'll always remember the laughter we shared together while we worked. Mm -hmm.